<laughs> okay, farm girl, let us talk about how <laughs> you and I are killing ourselves and millions and mi billions of other people yeah. are killing ourselves. And let's, let's confess to a degree of ignorance and uh, let's talk about this. What are we, what are we on to? What are we going to... What have we started considering? So, we are going to do a 21 day water fast. Maybe 14 days. Okay, what is a water, <laughs> what, is, what is water fast for people out there who so are hearing So, you, you thinking, just drink water. You don't drink coffee, you don't take supplements. Well, uh -huh. some people take some supplements like herbs, but I think just to let your whole body go through the complete process and detoxify okay. everything. Now slow down. What, okay. what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? At least fifty percent of the people out there watching They're this are say, thinking right you now. You can't do that. It's not healthy. It's deadly. You're gonna die. You're gonna yeah it's, cause all kinds of. That's what actually our son mentioned it um, a couple weeks ago. Both of our kids and are, are. That's what I said. Both of our kids are very health conscious, which yes, we're very, very grateful for. Really, really good. Um, and they're they're exploring and experimenting. Yeah. In uh, in terms of. We being started healthier. them out doing that, yeah. <laughs> but they've gone way past us now. Yeah. <laughs> they're teaching us stuff. All right, so let's so, back up. So so yeah, water so, fast. So and, he said that, and I said, <clears throat> no, you're not doing it. <laughs> like I'm in charge of him, but. I said, it's not healthy. He's, he's 24. It's, yeah, he's 24. Yeah. It's, it's not going to be good for you. Nobody should do that. And he said, Mom, just research it. So I did. And, and she I, started talking to me about it. Yeah, it was amazing, the health benefits. Yeah, so so what it is, is water only. It's, it's it. Like, okay, so no I'm, beer. A, I'm addicted. <laughs> no wine. I'm addicted to coffee. Yeah. Um, I would say that we consume way too much alcohol, although yeah. we wouldn't we, we wouldn't technically categorize ourselves as alcoholics. No. Um, but most people who say that don't realize, but they actually are, but we're not. <laughs> we, we actually don't drink except for the evening, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, you could have a, we could have a whole long debate about that, but we're not alcoholics, but we drink too much. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be. It's just a habit. It's just um, part of the detox that I'm interested yeah. in. Yeah. Is. Me too. Okay, so this is going to be particularly challenging. Yeah. In that we're going to be going cold turkey on a lot of different fronts. Right. Not eating food, not getting up and having coffee like I have since 1969, yeah. 68. Like. Every morning. Really ingrained habits. In very ingrained. Yeah psychologically and physically yeah so okay so here's I want to talk about some of these things uh, I was talking with with her earlier about the culture of our diet of yeah. food and cooking our relationship with it's it like our lives are built around eating she is Italian I love. <laughs> a lot of people always ask you know a farm girl are you American uh, Indian, Native American yeah. are you are you East Indian are you she's Italian and, and yeah Irish. Italian, right. Irish, German, French. Anyway, <laughs> the Italian part of that My is... My Italian grandpa always said, you're Italian. Very food oriented. Uh, it's a very much a part of their, their culture. Oh yeah. With me, it's French. You know, I'm French Irish, but I had a lot of French family. And a lot of Cajun. In New Orleans, in Louisiana. And we all, yeah. we ate that heavy, wonderful Cajun diet and we loved it. And my, my people were very good. Like my producing. dad said, Paul Prudhomme sucks on a stick of butter while he's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very much a part of our of our lifestyle, of our, yeah, and our history. Yeah. So that's that's a big deal. But quitting coffee. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one. Man. I don't feel like I'm really like I have to have coffee. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I do. I feel like it's more of a mental thing for me. I drink. Like I like to just get up and. I drink three cups a day. Yeah. At least three cups a day sometimes two but rarely usually three uh, cups I'm usually vibrating after it. one <laughs> so we're gonna cut everything out and uh, are we advocating for this are we are we recommending this to people no not, no not really just I mean it's just an idea just if you want to research it we I would say do it because we just want to put this out there we, we want to let everybody know ahead of time what we're going to attempt yeah. um, 
it's it's I say it's an attempt because it's something we've never done. It's an experiment. If we had done this before <laughs> successfully, yeah, we would be telling you, hey, we're going on another fast and yeah. we're going to do it for 21 days. Maybe we'll be saying this in six months. Yeah. So hopefully, we wish us success. Hopefully, we will uh, we will do it successfully. Yeah. And I apologize. But, um, plane coming. But not only does it like detox you, but it resets all kinds of things. So like if you have food allergies, it can help get rid of those. Um, if you have high blood pressure, it can help to get rid of that. Yeah. Um, there's, and there are a lot of diseases that it can actually reverse. So this is kind of a, um, a deterrent type thing for us. Like we don't, we're pretty healthy. Yeah. But um, for people that have, you know, that are morbidly obese or um, just have these dietary problems where they can't eat certain things, this can reset that. Okay, them. that's another motivator for me. Now, I hate to, I hate to sound uh, prejudiced or judgmental, but if we're being honest, when <laughs> we look, when we're out in public and we look around us and we see people who are morbidly obese, most of us don't wish harm to them. We wouldn't say anything rude to them. Um, but it's it's just human nature to look at them and say, why don't you stop what you're doing that's causing that? And they probably would think, what? I can't just stop eating, which you now can. There, Most people can for 40 days. Before. There's a percentage that's of them crazy. that would say, well, you know, I have a, a medical condition yeah. that makes it so I have a propensity to gain a large amount of weight. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you would say, well, but if you, if if you, you would reset heal your yourself, body, if you would reset yeah. your body, that's that's a better word, healing. It, that's what your body's doing when you're <clears throat> detoxing because you give it a break from. Uh, it's because your body is out of whack. All now, other processes. if you've already, I don't know, maybe you've, we're, we're not talking about people who've already had medical procedures and, you know, who probably should have done these things before all that. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot to talk about. But yeah. I started, th you know, I've always thought that. I have always, and I'm not a harsh, judgmental person, but I've just, I've, I've found myself thinking, man, if, if I could take you prisoner somewhere, <laughs> and keep you from eating you'd lose yeah I could watch you lose hundreds of pounds yeah and then set you well, free I mean, and people, say don't do that anymore people really have to want to and yeah yeah they that's have to be ready to that's eat. a very simplistic notion yeah. but you see where I'm going so now I have an opportunity to prove to myself that hey I can practice what I preach because yeah. I'm overweight and I would like to reset yeah. and here's the thing there are many motivators here, and I want to talk about those too. I was having a talk, walking around this very same piece of property, recently with an aunt of mine, who I love, and uh, she made me very angry. <laughs> I didn't express my anger. She's a different generation, and she's been a consumer and a feeder all of her life. She's yeah. fed a lot of oh, family, yeah. like my grandmother did. Yeah. and. Uh, she said, she said to me, you're at that age now, someone, it came up, somebody has an illness in the family. Right. And she said, me being in my 50s, you all are in your age, that age group now, you're, you're going to start getting these illnesses and cancers and degenerative diseases, heart disease. <laughs> so just get ready to She just blatantly up. told me to sort of well, get ready, you know, uh, <laughs> to get a lot of disease. Get ready and, for the barrage of pain. Us being people who like to th think positively and create the world that we live in, you know, rather and than we really do try be subject to it. Well, we don't. But, that didn't sit well with me. Yeah. And uh, it made me kind of angry, and then it got me to thinking, you know, I need to, I do need to make some changes. What causes what she's talking about is overconsumption. Yeah. Of red meats and oils and sugars, sugars and, salt and salt and things like that okay. yeah and so processed foods basically yeah. yeah so we can actually heal ourselves we can actually prevent the onset of these diseases that are killing us by the millions yeah every year in this country yep. and uh, people have shrunk tumors like cancer tumors yeah. to nothing and the doctors are like what 
when they go back to look for them, the doctors yeah. that told them, don't do this, just come in here and we'll try and cut it out or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we Amazing. were listening to, li listening to one holistic doctor that was saying, yeah, you go to the doctors and they say, if you do exactly what we tell you to do, you, you'll stay sick forever and you'll keep coming. Yeah, exactly. And that's basically what it is. It's a revolving yep. door. Yep. And uh, I went out. I yeah, went it's like, we, we don't want to treat the symptoms. We want to heal the body. Yeah. So we don't have the symptoms. So we don't have the disease. This, if you do it properly and you do your research, again, we're not recommending this to other people. We're just telling you about our journey. We're going to try it and we're going to document it for you. Right. And we wanted you It'll to know fun. ahead of time. <laughs> we're going to weigh in. I weigh... Probably uh, between 220 and 226 yeah? on average. And she weighs about 200, I think. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, she weighs less. <laughs> a little bit less. <laughs> so we're going to weigh in. And it's going to be one of those things that's going to be, you know, uh, we're, we're going to learn. And we're going to yeah. see what's around that corner where we've never been before. That's, yeah, it's going to be definitely like a journey. an adventure. It's an adventure. It's yeah. going to suck. It's, it's going to suck. suck at first. But yeah. after like three to five days, your body is not hungry anymore. So, yeah. and it just starts using the fat, the adipose tissue that you have. And the muscle fibers that are, you know, the weakest. So, and, and it goes into um, conservation mode, trying to not have your body use your muscles as energy. Yeah. So glycogen first and then adipose tissue. <laughs> Yeah. And then if your body tells you that it's starving, you start eating Af again. After you've yeah. gone through the part where you're not hungry anymore. Right. And then that's how you would know if your body's starting to actually starve. Right. Supposedly, you get really hungry again. And it's it's a like a throat hunger. It's not a hunger pang in your stomach or it's not your head telling you you're hungry. It's your throat. Like you can feel it that you're starving. So we're going to be very careful of that. I don't um, think that'll happen. It takes... It's pretty easy. A long time for that to happen. It's pretty realistic for healthy individuals to be able to go a good 40 days, right? Yeah. Or more. Mm -hmm. Some. But yep. uh, we're going to try, I think, for t two weeks. Probably two weeks, but we might do 21 days. It just kind of yeah. depends on what's going on in our lives and right. all that. So we have some things coming up that we have to do. When you're doing this, you really should rest. We're not going to be able to rest. Yeah, there's a lot of questions as... with people. They they think, yeah. oh, I should work out while I'm doing it so that I don't yeah. lose muscle, muscle mass because you're prone to lose muscle. But yep. that's your body's good. You should... would actually use more muscle than you would build. You, you wouldn't build muscle. You would just use it. So so rest as much yeah. as possible is what we're going to do. And yep. uh, yeah, so you know, I watched my mother die slowly. She smoked. She consumed a lot and uh, you know, a lot she, of just, food. she just tore her body up. She yeah. was covered with wrinkles. She got diverticulitis. Her, she had poor gut health. Yeah. She got cardiovascular disease. But she I'm got sure COPD. she had never heard of doing this. And she thing. never considered things. I like never this. thought about it. I mean, I thought, I've done intermittent fasting, but I never thought about well, 21 days without food. Just and another water. thing. What? I feel very blessed. Sounds crazy. <laughs> I feel very, very blessed to have support. Like we have each other. Yeah, me too. Um, we've created that in our lives. We've, we've, we've searched for this support system and good, re strong relationships, bonds, and things like that, that lend themselves to these kinds of things. Yeah. And I'm very grateful to have that. Me too. With you, with our kids. Yeah. We're like-minded. Yeah. So I hope that you know there are people out there who may want to try this can get in a situation where they have the support. Yeah. And if not, you can go into, uh, you can go to some of these oh, centers. Yeah, there's, there's centers there are centers that do fasting. They, they help will you guide through you, the fast. assist you. Yeah. And, um, so if you do have medical issues, you can be sure that you're gonna be safe. You can get a baseline. Care of. You probably yeah. already have a baseline and you can just have that watch. Yep. Get through it, so. There you have it, my <laughs> friends. The next big adventure. We'll show you our pain. On the Banshee Moon <laughs> Farm. We're gonna shut down the, the kettle and the pots and pans for a while. Yeah, not right get, now. We gotta get rid of all our food. <laughs> <laughs> we're not sure when we're, when we're gonna do this, but. We're gonna do it in a few days. Coming soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you decide that you would like to do this, do copious amounts of research 
and make sure that you know what to do to break the fast. Yeah, not just so, to do during the fast, yeah, but how to break the fast. If you don't do that part right, you can negate a lot of the benefits that you would have received, and, and then you wasted all that time. And it can have yeah. devastating health consequences. True. Breaking yeah. the fast is just as every bit, if not more important than the fast Lots itself. of research. Okay. That's the plan. All right. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll be sure to keep you posted. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.